wheel now. That ain't very polite now, is it? If you're gonna keep up these poor manners, boy, it's gonna be a very long night. Well, now that we got the business of your attitude settled, what game are we playing anyways? Jack, ain't that what we came here for? So what brings you here? I'm the robbery. The one moment you're trying to steal money from the teller, and uh, the next you're 40 miles down the interstate, taking one right in the chest. Impressive. Your takeaway? Well, the fact that I took a bullet to the chest, I don't got much of a clue. 10, 15, how am I supposed to know? That's fair. You regret what you did? Well, I'd assume so, considering you got yourself in this predicament. Just happened earlier than it would have otherwise. What you mean by that? Well, friend, cop, you myself, one way or the other, I was... Dad, you make fun of me, boy, with that accent? Put wherever I am. Okay, it's my turn to interrogate. Are you the devil? Well... I actually ain't got the privilege of the title, sir. Well, do, do you work for him? Interesting you say that, boy, because I don't work for either one. But if you gotta know, not a middle quite like you, except I, uh, quite get the release that you do. Wait, release? How long have you been here? I don't know. Few millions like you, though. Long time, then, I assume. I guess so. How many people have actually won against you? Not many, I think. You you got control of those cards, though. So I want to know how you shuffle those things. Well, no. Kind of wrong about that. See, many win. Most win poker. Not a lot of people know how to play hearts, but the ones that do, they usually win. You see, though, not many win blackjack. It's kind of the luck of the game, you know. Doesn't matter how good you were in life with strategy. Don't matter if you can count cards. At the end of the day, it's just what I draw. Well, <laughs> don't blame me. You only have three options. Heart, poker, blackjack. Not good at poker. Don't think I even have a heart. Blackjack was honestly the only option I have. Well, I think I just lost. You never know. Feel good. Just stay. I'll stay too. You know, it's not too late to back out. We can play a different game if you so inclined. I know you said you didn't know how to play poker, but if I'm being totally honest, I think it'd be a lot more entertaining of a game. See, I think I'll stay too. Also, 
it's not too late to back out if you want to play a different game. I know you said you didn't know how to play poker, but me personally, I find it to be a lot more entertaining. I love watching the way you and those who came before you squirm as you're not quite sure whether or not to fold, whether or not your hand is going to beat my hand. Which, if we're really thinking about it, probably never will. But I sure do like that. What do you call it? You young folk, that deer in headlights expression I hear so much about. See, back in my day, we'd just call it looking down the barrel of a gun. And as you look down that barrel and you know it's coming right at you and you really ain't going to be able to stop it, but you got time. You got those cards in your hand, and as I lay down another one on the table, it might increase that chance, might increase that chance that you don't go where you know you're going to go. Maybe, maybe you'll have it. There's that little glimmer of hope, that little light shining deep down in your chest where you really think, you really think you're going to make it out of here. That maybe this ain't rigged like those casinos back home. That maybe, maybe you really do have a chance. Maybe this is the middle. Maybe this is the in-between, the purgatory between heaven and hell. And you have a shot to go up there. All the way up there. Maybe you do. And so you keep those cards in your hand and you won't fold. And you won't fold until I lay that last card down. And you just keep betting. You bet all your chips. You put all of them in the pile. And you really think you got me. Oh, every time they really think they got me. <sighs> Those like you, though, who choose blackjack, they don't have that same look in their eyes. They know what they signed up for. Some bullshit, stupid game of luck. They know that that deck is rigged. That I don't, I don't play the game just like you remember it. Like you remember it back home when your daddy took you to that Vegas casino for your 18th, now 21st birthday. You sat down at that table and he gave you twenty dollars to play a game of blackjack. Cause it was the only one that you could understand. Cause poker, poker's got a lot of rules and hearts. No one plays that anymore. No one plays that game anymore. Certainly not the casino your daddy took you to. And you sit there and you play blackjack and you lose, cause it's rigged. Well, it's rigged here too. It is. Y'all know it. Y'all sit across that table and you just squirm a little. But deep down you know what's going to happen. You just sit there and you wallow in it. Because you know those lights are going to go a little faster than they do in poker. And they're going to go out. And they're going to do it just that much faster. And you ain't gonna have any time to think about what you've done. Why you're here. You ain't gonna have any time at all. So if you're really sure you want to keep playing blackjack, I'll let you. But just be wary of that. You know. I do quite like that look in your eye. No. I made my choice.
21. All right. You flip them. Like, 